purpose of this little example is to show you how functions work. So what I have here is a little function that, or at least a little program, only the main function. All it does is it prints out hello world. So I'm going to expand this to just do the following. Um, instead of just printing hello world, I'm going to tell it to call a function which I will call my print and then this function I will define up here. The function will return nothing. It will be called my print and it starts and it ends and in between I just print out hello world. Instead of doing that hello world inside the main body I've moved it outside so whenever I call my print the compiler goes and looks for a function my print those two parentheses means um, go look for a function and it finds the function called my print and it performs whatever needs to be performed there and you have the option of adding return there because it's void you don't need to return anything specifically so if I run this the output is exactly the same so it reaches this point and at this point it calls the function and the function performs hello world now let's just make this a bit more complicated um, let's say that I have an integer called value its value is 5 and I have another one with the um, with the name result and it doesn't have a value just yet and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to print out percentage d um, to the power 2 is equal to percentage d so I'm just going to say val to the power 2 is equal to res and res I'm just going to say is equal to val times val alright so you can see I'm not calling the function anymore I'm just doing something silly here and the something is just saying 5 to the power 2 is equal to 25 nothing weird now what I want to do is I want to send something to my function so I'm just gonna I'm not using this function anymore I'm gonna rename it because what I'm gonna ask it to do is calculate the square so I'm gonna call this my sq it will calculate the square of a value that I'm going to send it. So the value that I'm going to give this function is of type integer and I'm going to call it v. So this function will calculate the result or at least will calculate the square of v. Now as an intermediary step let's just do the following. Hello world uh, let's do this print f let's just move it up here into the function and this will now say v squared is equal to and then something and I'm just going to do this as well and now it's v times v this is the value that was declared here it's passed into the function the function does v times v it puts it into an integer that I will call r and it will print v to the power 2 is equal to r so if I run this what happens is um, main will start to execute and then I call the function mysc my square and I give it this val and obviously I don't need res anymore so what now happens is my square is called the value of val and that's quite important to understand the value of val is copied and it's pasted into v here so the function my sq is called and then the value of 5 or the 5 the value of val is copied and pasted into v val here is unaffected and it lives on here in a new variable called v 
So then inside this function, I have an integer r, and r is equal to the square, and I just print that out. So let's just see what happens if I execute that. So when I execute it, the function is called, and it prints out exactly that there. What I can now do is I can take this a step further. Let's say I now want this to return the result, which means I say my function returns an integer. That means I need to return r. I'm going to take this printf out. So this will just calculate the square and return it as an integer. So in here, I want to print the result and I need to call my sq and send it the value val and then I need to store the result which is passed back through that as an integer there result is equal to that and I need to just declare that integer again res so what happens is I have an integer val and an integer res that lives inside main then I have an integer r and an integer v which lives inside my square and v we call that a parameter it gets its value from outside whoever's calling the function gives it a value so this says the result is equal to perform the function give it this value called val just take that value and paste it into my sq and that um, copying and pasting is called passing so pass that value to my sq do whatever it needs to do and then return it returns something called r which must be of type integer and that value is then plonked back back into result res and over here i can print the result um, v to the power 2 is equal to res so if i run this now you'll see it gives you exactly the same result so that's just a short demo on passing of functions, running of functions, and the important things to understand is um, this function here receives a value from whoever calls it, and in this case it returns an integer which is then put into res. Another important thing to understand is that in this module for structured programming, we don't put the function on top, we put something called the function prototype on top which is a copy and paste of the first line of the function and it just tells the compiler this is what it's going to look like it's going to give back an integer it's going to receive an integer it will be called v and then it, the function is called mysq so when it compiles and it finds mysq there it says ah i know there is something called mysq and will be defined later on